Hi there, my name is Vic Veer. I'm an ENT consultant surgeon working for the National Health Service in England. Today I want to tell you about a device called a tongue retaining device, which in essence is a suction cap, which pulls out your tongue and keeps it out of your mouth as you sleep at night. The idea behind that is that you're pulling the tongue out of the way so you can breathe behind it. Now some of you may have heard of the mandibular advancement device, which is basically a gum shield which brings your lower jaw forward. So it pulls your lower jaw forward and at the same time it's pulling your tongue forward. But some people don't have the adequate amount of dentition to help them use that or they've got temporomandibular joint problems and therefore this is an alternative to mandibular advancement devices because it doesn't rely on pulling your jaw forward, it pulls your tongue out. So this paper written in 2009 in the Sleep Journal looks at comparing mandibular advancement devices and tongue retaining devices. Both mandibular advancement devices and tongue retaining devices had similar efficacy in terms of AHI reduction, basically reducing sleep apnea. However, they did find that people preferred using the mandibular advancement device when both devices were offered. And the way it works is that you have to push your tongue into that little suction cap here. And because air can't get round it again, the tongue can't come back out again unless you really prise it out. If you look at the bottom here, there's a little V there, and that's to go underneath your tongue, as some people have a tongue tie, and that prevents them from pulling out their tongue too far. So I'm just gonna show you how this works. I'm just gonna stick my tongue in here, and hopefully I'll just suck it out and hold it in that position. Ah, it's working. I can't talk, I'm very sorry. You can see my tongue here. I guess I could, could have pushed out my tongue a bit further, but it was just starting to hurt underneath my tongue. I've got a little tongue tie. Some of my patients that use this feel that if you push it out too far, it can be a bit sore in the back of your throat in the morning. And sometimes you can get some sores on the side. There are lots of different types of these or different sizes. They basically all look the same sort of rather unusual looking shape. And if it hurts that much, most people just wake up and take it out. So in this part of the video, I'm going to talk about the research and trials and see if it actually works. So this is the main paper I want to talk about from the American Journal of Otolaryngology written by Edward Chang. It is a meta-analysis from Stanford University about tongue retaining devices. Now what a meta-analysis means is that it collects all the other papers on tongue retaining devices and then brings them all together to make one study that explains all of them in one go. So you can see here from the abstract that there were 16 studies with 242 patients. The apnea hypopnea index or AHI dropped from 33.6 down to 15.8 which is overall a 53% reduction in your sleep apnea. They also found that the Epworth sleepiness scale which is a measure of how tired you are dropped a little bit from 10.8 to 8.2. So its conclusion was that tongue retaining devices provide a statistically effective alternative treatment option for obstructive sleep apnea. So typically these devices work best in people with a tongue-based problem. And the only way really to know that is to do a drug-induced sleep endoscopy. And there are other videos in my channel. You can look that up and see what that's all about. But once you know you have a tongue-based problem, pulling out your tongue and holding it there might be useful. And that's where this tongue retaining device may help you. It's incredibly cheap and inexpensive. So if you'd like to try one of these things out, I've left a link in the description or you can go to Amazon or wherever you like to shop. And if you found this thing useful, do let me know in the comments section and I'll try and answer them one by one. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching.